All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, use the TunePipe membership feature. This will allow you to uh, set up a membership area of your site to charge access for that or give access away for free. Uh, and fortunately, in TunePipe, it's very easy to set up. So let's just dive in. The first thing you want to do is uh, from within your builder, come to contacts. And here, over here on the left hand side, you'll find your different member groups. And by default, you'll see a basic member uh, group. And it's really important to understand this. Every account will have this and you need to have a default group. Um, this is because there are various points in your system where people uh, may register for your site and you may not be thinking about them as becoming uh, or as, as becoming members of a paid program. But for example, let's say you want to allow people to register for your website so that they can see uh, their order history, for example, and, and receipts and things like that. Um, or, you know, they may stumble upon your default uh, registration page. In either instance, they can register for your site without you really necessarily realizing that they're going to get access to something. And if you create your main paid program as your default uh, membership group, then they're going to get access to that. I've seen that happen. So you want to avoid it by always having a basic members uh, group that really doesn't have any content in it. Or if it does, you've got some content, you know, that you're comfortable with everyone having access to maybe some general information. Um, so now, now that you understand that, we can create a member group for a more premium product. Um, so first thing you want to do, uh, well, first, you might want to take a look at member settings. Um, you'll see here, allow registrations uh, in order for people to register. That will need to be ticked. It is by default. Member approval. This will um, force you to give uh, to approve all members. I recommend leaving it off, but you may have your reasons for wanting to leave it on. Send notifications. This is probably a good idea. And then you put your email address in there. I'm just turning it off for now. And then the default group. So if you wanted to create a different uh, default group, you could. But for most of us, basic members is going to be a good idea. And then we save. Now we're going to want to create our first group and you just come to add group and we're going to give this um, a name of my members area. You'll call it something else, obviously. And we're going to click submit. And then we can click on that and we can show group settings. Now, the only thing you really need to do here is create a default home page. So when someone has access to this, and they uh, register for your site, they'll get redirected here unless you overwrite the setting. And we haven't created a membership homepage yet, so we can't add anything, but we're gonna wanna come back to that and add it. Um, so let's do that. Let's create our membership area, our membership page. Again, this may be a simple one page members area, or it may be a huge collection of uh, membership uh, pages with their own navigation and their own headers. You can really do anything that you want. Um, so let's come back to our builder. Let's come to pages. Uh, let's minimize that. Something I like to do is create a page group just so everything is organized. And I'm going to call this my, um, well, I'll call this yeah, no, my, what did I name it? I don't even remember my membership. I think I called it something different, but um, we'll just call it that. Um, and then we have got our page group here. Now what we want to do is add new page. And it come down here to membership. You can use any page. You can create one from scratch, but we've got some here that you may find handy. Uh, I'm going to go with maybe, I don't know, this one. Uh, I'm going to call it membership home uh, for the uh, add to group I want to go with my membership for page access I want to go with members only um, and now I want to choose my membership which is my members area and I could use a different header if I wanted to uh, to you know create a unique experience I'm just going to leave that alone for now and I'm going to click add um, now I could hide that page if I wanted to, because we've kind of got a sort of pseudo header here. Um, I'm going to do that for now. You may want to, may not, it totally doesn't matter to you. Now this is using a custom, this template is using a custom property that will pull their name, um, from their login info. If you want to use that, you can, um, if you don't, 
at just that. And you just come in and you just edit this page to be whatever you wanted it to be. You'd add your column, probably make it um, global if you were creating multiple pages. Uh, and, you know, you'd add your content. And this is what people would be paying to get access to. Um, so this works just like any other page. And I'm going to leave it to you to um, design your page on, on your own time. But now, what do we want to do if we want to, you know, give people access to this? And again, if we wanted to create multiple pages, like March and February and January, we just create new pages and we just link them together here in the navigation. And just as I showed you before, we would give access uh, or we would assign them to the member group. Now we've got our home page, however. So I'm going to open this up in a new tab. Um, I'm going to just... Um, Oh, it's making me log in. I actually, I I can't log in because I'm not I'm not yet a member. So we'll do it a different way, actually an easier way. We'll come back to contacts. We'll uh we'll come to my members area, and we're gonna click on group settings. Now we're gonna click on this. We're gonna go to page page groups my membership membership home select. Now when anyone logs in, if they've got access to this, they're going to be redirected to this page again, unless we overwrite it in some other area. Um, now, how do we sell or give access to this membership uh, group? Well, if we want to give people access to your member group, um, it's as simple as coming here and clicking add member and adding their name and email address, assigning a a group and then clicking confirm. In fact, let's do it with me. My name is John Ojaka and my email is and I'm going to assign a member group and I'm going to click confirm and I'm going to click save. Now I will have just received an email. Um, in fact, I just got the buzz on my phone asking me to set up or create a password. And once I do that and log back in, it will redirect me to the home page that we just set up. But what if I want to sell access to this product? And this is where m what most of us are going to be doing. If you want to sell access, you come to your store. You come to your products. We come here and we click add product. We're going to click membership. We're going to go my membership, you know, level one or whatever you want to call it. We're going to go maybe $5 subscription product. I want to charge every one month or you could do every 12 months, whatever you want. You know, add your image, do all your things so that it looks the way you want it to in your store. Um, type of product, membership, select the group, my members area, click confirm. You've got these other options here, custom thank you pages, apply tags, all of which are, you know, good ideas, but I'm just trying to move ahead. And now if we click preview, we can see that uh, someone can just order this, go to checkout. Uh, and of course, you can add this to your checkout forms as well, and someone can purchase. And once they purchase, if we proceed, you'll see that they are asked uh, to create a, where is it? Here it is, set password. And when they create the password, they'll automatically get access upon ordering, and they'll get an email you know, that gives them access. And something that's a good idea to do is to create, if we go back to the builder, to create some way for people to to um, log in to your members area. So what you can do is create a login uh, link here in the header, uh, or if you want, you can use uh, one of our login profile links, which adds a little sort of profile image to the header, just so people can find their way. And I'll show you an example of my own site that uses this, um, which is Music Marketing Manifesto. And you can see here, I've got the login link. And if somebody clicks it, um, they'll be taken to a sign up page. I'm actually already logged in. Um, so instead of seeing the login page, or I'm seeing all of my products in my order history. I haven't ordered anything. I've given myself access for free, so I don't see anything there. But you've got details and address and, you know, all of the information related to yourself. Uh, again, this is something that you would be using as the customer. So that is how you would create a membership program and charge uh, for access or give access to that program. But there's one more feature I want you to be aware of, which is the, the default sign-in form. So if we come over here to our builder, come down to system pages, come to member login or registration and click on this. 
Um, this is this page here, which we can uh, pull up, uh, is the it's just going to be your site.com forward slash sign in. Um, but there, there are, you have the ability to adjust some options here as well. So enable login. So if I don't want people to be able to register, for example, I can close that off. And now people will not be able to register for this form. Or if I've got, let's say, a default uh, program that I want people to be ac able to access, then I can turn this on. And then the, the, the um, where is it, the default uh, program use the default group would either be basic members or my members area. So let's say you have a thousand members that you need to give access to very quickly, um, and you're not concerned about uh, people sneaking in. You can go and email this link to people. You could turn the default membership group would be my members area, um, the paid program, and then I could send the re uh, registration link if I if I just. Uh, enable registrations, I could send that to people and allow them to create their own or to give themselves access um, rather than going and having to add them all one by one. Um, again, the risk here is that people if anyone else gets this form, they can also get access to to overcome this. You could uh, enable the approval setting uh, or just keep an eye on people. Again, I don't normally use this, but it is there and I wanted you to be aware of it. I normally turn um, enable registrations off um, and then leave enable uh, login on then I go to uh, you well you, actually I don't use this either but you've got show custom page after login and you can send all people to one page no matter what they sign up for the issue here is that you need to remember that you've set this up because um, you've also got that default home page on the membership uh, levels and uh, that will be overwritten if you use anything here. Uh, so I tend to leave it off and then let people redirect to the, the designated homepage of each membership tier. Um, but if you've got a lot of programs and people have access to a lot of those different areas, you may want to have one universal homepage, which is your uh, basic members area that just says hi and welcome and, you know, basically shows people how to navigate the members area to get access to their different paid programs. So there's a lot of flexibility there. You have a lot of control. You can make your membership area be anything that you want it to be, and you can easily charge or give access to that membership area. And you can create multiple and unlimited number of different membership groups as well, um, which will allow you to, you know, charge uh, for access or charge different prices to get access to those different tiers, which just as an aside works really nicely with our crowdfunding uh, funnel. If you haven't already taken a look at it, which is here and we can go in and create a little funnel um, that works very much like a say Patreon or a Kickstarter type of platform where we can charge um, people to get access to the different tiers. And all we're doing in this case is, you know, connecting a product or an order button or a checkout form to our membership pro uh, product that we just created. All right, that is how you use the TunePipe membership feature. And as always, if you have any questions, just get in touch with our support team. All the best.